How's it going, Halo followers? Silly Solomon here, bringing you a Halo 4 commentary. Today I'm going to be talking about some news and stuff that's been happening in Halo 4. Uh, first of all, I want to say this past week it was Halo 4's birthday, which is all awesome and everything, and people showed up and had fun, it was good times. I think the game type for the birthday was like a Fiesta variant. I didn't actually go and play. I know it's kind of depressing, but it's the middle of the school week. I have homework and I have things to do. I don't have time to just play Halo in the middle of the week, gosh darn it. But yeah, uh, it was Halo 4's birthday and people showed up. I think it's kind of depressing because, you know, as far as population numbers go, Halo 4 has really, really low population numbers compared to the previous Halos as far as, you know, into its launch. Like one year into the other Halos, they had much higher population numbers. But, I don't know, it, it's still cool that 343 is updating the game, and although it is depressing that the population numbers are low, I think it's, I think the silver lining here is the fact that 343 still updates the game despite the whole low population numbers and everything, and I think as long as 343 stays committed like this, Halo 5 should be a fantastic game, and I don't know, it's just cool. Some people see it as, you know, a year of solitude and sadness, that, that is Halo 4, and I see it as only one year left till Halo 5, and that should be absolutely awesome if 343 keeps listening to the community. There's actually been some rumors of, like, uh, people from 343 talking to, like, some StarCraft 2 people about a new ranking system and all, all sorts of neat stuff. You guys should go check that out in some other video. This is not about that. So, yeah, this video is not about that. This is about the new multi-team stuff that's coming out and the new, uh, or I guess just the changes to multi-team. Number one, uh, multi-team is coming back, like I just said, but it's coming back differently. If you guys don't know, the old Halo 4 multi-team had six teams of two, which got really ridiculous. I remember playing a game of SWAT on multi-team in Halo 4. Uh, there was ten enemies against me. I was playing on a drift, and every single time I spawned it, I died instantly. It was absolutely ridiculous, and those six teams of two just made everything absolutely insane. It was just too much. I could not play multi-team anymore, so... I'm really happy that they're changing multi-team. They're making it four teams of three, which is, I think, how it I think just think it should be four teams of three. I don't know why anyone in 343 decided six teams of two would be better. Like, when you're sitting around a round table and someone says, oh, let's, uh, let's have six teams of two. Like, who decided to put that in the game? I'm not sure, but... I'm happy that 343 recognized their mistake and they took it out of the game. So, yeah, there's going to be four teams of three, which I am just really happy about overall. Plus, they're adding in Regicide into uh, multi-team. It was the playlist that won. I really wanted the uh, King Snipers playlist to win, or the King Snipers variant, sorry, uh, in multi-team to win. But unfortunately, it didn't. So, yeah, we got Regicide in multi-team, which I know a few people are pretty excited about. And I, I'm still going to play multi-team. I'm not going to, like, stay away from multi-team because I did my vote did not win or anything like that. I'm not going to be like that. So... Yeah, I'm still going to play multi-team. I still think it'll be enjoyable, and you guys should play it too. Plus, uh, if you guys do want to play, my gamer tag is uh, Solomon, S-A-W-L-O-M-O-N. I don't think it's going to be in the description because I don't think Chris will put it there. I'm too lazy to tell him. But yeah, if you guys ever want to play multi-team whenever it comes out, feel free to uh, hit me up on Xbox and we can play some multi-team. So yeah, I'm getting sidetracked here. Uh, so besides the whole multi-team and everything, there's also been the McFarlane dolls that I've seen a lot, or not the actual dolls themselves, but I've seen a lot of the skins that you unlock with the McFarlane dolls online. I've been playing a lot of online in the past, like last weekend, and I saw a lot of new camos, and I was like, oh, or not new camos, new skins, and I was like, oh, I wonder where those came from, and apparently there's these new dolls, they're not really new, they're, they're not new at all, but they're Halo 4 dolls that you can buy and get camos or slash skins for, whatever you want to call them, but yeah, there's new skins that I've been seeing a lot online, so yeah, that's just a weird observation of mine, I don't think it's really a wise investment to get it, because it's like 40 bucks for a skin, but if you're really into skins, I definitely recommend it, so... Yeah, that's really my observations as far as the Halo 4 news this week. Uh, the new multi-team stuff, I think that's the coolest as far as, you know, the four teams of three. I think that's really the highlight of the week for me as far as a Halo 4 player. Uh, the McFarlane dolls and the skins, that's kind of cool. And uh, the whole birthday playlist. So, yeah, those are the three main things I had to talk about today. So, thank you guys for listening in. By the way, for those of you that, that have been supporting me and, you know, uh, I guess been nice to me on this channel, it's really awesome. I'm really happy that you guys have, uh, you know, enjoyed me. So that's that's really awesome. My personal channel is almost at 1,000 subscribers. If you guys would be willing to go subscribe to that, that would be sweet and nice of you guys. So, yeah, thank you guys for listening in, and uh, have a great day.